Hi everyone, so in today's video I'm going to show you how you can take some shapes that are in the CM900 machine and I think these, all these shapes I think are in any of the CM models. I'm going to upload the shapes to Canvas online, work with them, download them back to the machine and then cut them and make these two beautiful cards. So if you want to see how I made them, keep watching. Okay, so I've got the CM900. I'm going to go into patterns. I'm going to go into basic shapes and I'm going to scroll down. And on page nine, I'm going to choose this design here that looks like a square with the corners chopped out and it's BA-A130. And I'm going to say set and I'm just going to drag it to the bottom of the page out of the way. I'm going to come to add. I'm going to come into this section that's got the flower and the parcel and then into the top section which has got the little planet and flower and I'm going to choose this snowflake. Say OK, OK, set and drag that down. Then I'm going to go back to add, back to patterns, into the same section and I'm going to scroll to page three and I'm going to choose this leaf and this leaf. So I'm going to choose this one first, say OK, OK, set. Then I'm going to go back to add pattern into the same section, go to page three and choose that leaf and say OK, OK and set. So I've now got the four elements on this mat. I'm going to say save and I'm going to transfer it over wirelessly to Scan and Cut Canvas Online. So I'm going to use this one with the cloud and it said save successful OK. Now if you've not got Wi-Fi, click save, put it onto a USB stick, so load a USB stick into the side of your machine, select USB stick it's telling me I can't save it because I've not got a USB installed, but you would you would just then click the USB icon and save that file onto your USB stick. Then go to your computer, insert the USB stick and bring that file into your Canvas workspace online. So now I'm going to go over to Canvas and show you what I'm going to do with these shapes. OK, so I'm in my Scan and Cut Canvas online workspace account and I'm going to go to my projects and I'm going to retrieve the file that I sent over wirelessly and it's this one here. So I'm going to click on edit and it's going to drop these designs that I sent over from the machine onto my workspace mat. I'm just going to move them off to one side for now and I'm going to come to the basic shapes and I'm going to get a rectangle and with the rectangle selected I'm going to come to the properties box and I'm going to resize it. I'm going to untick maintain aspect ratio and I'm going to make it Five point seven five wide and four point zero inches high. And this is basically just going to represent the front of my base card. I'm going to right click and create a duplicate, and I'm going to make the duplicate smaller. So this is going to be about 4.5 inches wide and 3.5 tall for now, but I may adjust the size. I just want to see, in fact, I think that's too big. So I'm going to make the height 2.5.
and I'm going to make the width four. So I've got 2.5 inches high and four wide for now. And that probably will be okay. So what I'm going to do now, I'm going to resize and position these. I'm not going to use both the snowflakes, I don't think. I might use both the leaves, but I want to see how they're going to look resized on opposite corners of this smaller rectangle. So I think I'll do top left and bottom right. So I'm just going to select one design for now and I'm going to shrink it down and see how it looks. And I'm going to do the same with this other one. And I'm going to rotate this one. Oops. I'm going to send that to the back and then hopefully these are going to sit on top. I think I need to rotate that one the other way. Then I'm going to bring in one of the snowflakes and make that smaller. And angle that. I mean, I don't actually know whether this is going to look right or not. It might look totally rubbish, but I'm going to right click on the snowflake and make a copy and put that one up here and then for now I'm just going to select these right click and weld and just see how it looks it actually doesn't look too bad really does it I'm going to undo I think I'll make the leaf a little bit smaller and the snowflake and this snowflake mm. okay so I'm going to select the snowflake and the leaf and the other snowflake and the other leaf and I'm going to make them a group by going right click and group then I'm also going to make them a duplicate and drag that off to one side and then I'm going to make another duplicate and then this one I'm going to rotate and position on this corner then I'm going to select everything and I'm going to right click and weld and see how it looks. Right, well I don't like that because I've lost a lot of the definition. So I'm going to select this group and move them out and do the same with this. I'm going to select everything, right click and weld. This side looks okay, but this side's lost a lot of the pattern. So I'm going to undo and drag these out, try and get them so that they kind of match this side. Select everything again, right click and weld. That's not too bad actually, I think that kind of looks okay. And I've still got these spares so I can layer up if I want to. that would sit nicely on the front of a card. So what I'm going to do now, I'm going to come down to the basic shapes and I want to get 
this shape. I'm going to squash it up and squash it in. Because this could be used as a matting layer. So if this was a base card, this would sit on here. This you could put your greeting or something on and that would sit there. And then you've got these leaves and things that you could cut and tuck in. So I'm going to ungroup these and I'm going to make a couple of each of them. So I'm right clicking and hitting duplicate. I mean, I may not need them, but if I make them while I'm here, so I think that that might work. What I might do is let's try doing an offset. So right click, create offset, outward, 0.04. And we'll say OK and see how this looks. And that's a slightly bigger offset now. So if I was to layer these leaves up on top, they would kind of sit within. So that's another option. So I might save that one as well as that one going to need that. I don't need this because this was only a guide as the front of my card so I can delete that and I didn't use that snowflake. So I think I've got elements there that might work on the front of a card. So I'm going to save this now. This is the file name it was given from the machine. I'm going to call it ornate frame. I'm going to save it in canvas and it's asking me do I want to overwrite the original project which I do because that was just the four designs I brought in. So that's now saved in canvas and then I can now download it on Wi-Fi to my, my, to my machine. So that is scan and cut transfer. If you don't have Wi-Fi, download yours to your PC and then drag it onto a USB stick. So I'm going to send it back to the machine. It's telling me it's over there waiting and I can close this now. And then if I go into my project, you can see I've got my complete file. So I think that will do for now. And then I'll see how this looks and what I think of it. Okay, so I've switched my machine on. I'm just going to say OK and I'm going to go into pattern. Now, the patterns that I've just saved from Scan and Cut Canvas Workshop Online will appear here because I've sent them over wirelessly. So I'm going to select the Wi Fi icon and wait for it to retrieve. And there are all my elements that you've just seen me make in Canvas. So now, I'm going to save these into the machine because I'm not sure what I want to cut right at this minute. So I'm going to say save and I'm going to put them into the machine. And it's given me a, a file number and I can say OK. So I'm going to load up my mat now with some card and see what elements I actually want to cut. So I've loaded my mat with a piece of pool party which is six inches wide by about um, I think it's just over eight I think it's the length of a piece the width of a piece of A4 card cut at six inches from memory something like that and then I've got a piece of whisper white scrap on here as well which is six inches by about six and a half so I'm going to load that into the machine
I'm going to arrange these designs so that hopefully I'm going to cut both frames. I don't know which one I'm going to use yet, but hopefully these two frames I can get from the piece of pool party. And then these white bits I'm going to put up here and hopefully cut all of these. I'm just going to rotate some of them and hopefully get them all on this piece of white card. So I'm just going to say OK, OK, and I'm going to zoom in. And it's these more than anything that I just want to make sure I've got enough room around them, and I, I think I have. So now I'm going to say OK and do a background scan and say Go. So I just want to make sure that everything is going to fit on the two pieces of card that I've loaded onto this mat. So I'm just going to go into the editing icon and into the zoom again. I'm going to zoom to 400 and I'm just going to come over to the blue and just make sure that this is all fitting and it appears to be and everything on the white section appears to be okay so I'm going to send all these to cut so I'm going to say okay okay cut and go okay so that's finished now I'm going to say okay and unload so I thought I was recording and I wasn't. So basically what I've done, I've got a piece of pool party A4 card, which I've cut down the middle on the short side. I've scored it in half, folded it and burnished it with my bone folder. I've taken the bigger frame. This is the original frame. And this is the one I did with the outline. And using a sponge and some pool party ink, I've just sponged around the edge of this. And these sponges are available in my online shop. You buy them in a pack of three and then you cut them up into segments and then you can use them for sponging. On the piece of white, I've stamped again with Pool Party the Christmas greetings from The Greatest Part of Christmas. This is a host stamp set. So if you spend £150 or more in my online shop, you earn your own host rewards and you'll be able to get this stamp set. So I've mounted that onto a block and stamped that. And now I'm just going to bring in the white elements and I'm going to tuck them in and stick them down, I think. So let's see how this looks. So I'm not going to glue them completely down. I'm just going to... tuck them in and glue them so that there's still a bit of movement. And it's just a bit like a jigsaw puzzle working out where, where they go. And then if you just hold them down for, your, for a few minutes while they grab, Because you've got the frame you can obviously see where they go and then I've got my little snowflakes which I think I might pop up on dimensionals so let's put all find some little dimensionals and 
and then I might have to cut some of these minis in half to go on these two because these are a little bit smaller. So I think I think the bigger ones go here. And the smaller ones, I think, go up here. And I think what I'll do, I'll have these so they kind of just go over the edge of the card. Let's just put the lid on everything. Bring in some embellishments. I think I'll just use the little basic gems. So I'm going to put in the middle of the bigger snowflakes, I'm going to put a basic rhinestone. And then in the smaller ones, I'm going to put the medium sized because these are in three sizes on the sheet. And then I think we'll have a couple of little ones just scattered. What do you think? Just on the card. They say odd numbers work better, don't they? So, so, what do you think? So from some basic shapes that are in your Scan and Cut CM900, and hopefully they'll be in the other models as well, I obviously took those designs then into canvas, created a frame, welded them all together, and then cut, cut the extra shapes out, and I've made what I think is a beautiful card. Simple but beautiful. And then I've still got the original, so I could cut another one of these layers and put that on there, and then put that on the front of a card. And obviously that one's got, you know, a little bit more definition. So I'm just gonna make another one, but using the original frame because I, lost the filming of, of the other section. So I'm not gonna ink this one like I did with the other one. So I'm just gonna put this one down on 3D foam so it just sits up off the card a little bit. And I've cut a couple of snowflakes and just a couple of leaves for this one. I've not cut them all like I did in the last one. So again, I'm gonna bring in the Pool Party ink and the Christmas greeting. And it just hangs over the edge ever so slightly, so I'm just bringing in a piece of scrap just to stamp on. Again, I'm just going to pop this up on some dimensionals. Put this in the centre 
like so. Put that one under there. And obviously this one, these are the same size as the cards, so they're not going to layer up exactly, but I can kind of offset them. You know, a bit like a kind of a shadow. There's my little pokey tool. So I'll put a mini dimensional in the middle of the bigger snowflake. And then we can see where they're going to go. And again, because these are going to be a perfect fit, I might just kind of offset them. And overlap them. like so and then I'm going to cut a mini dimensional in half and I'm going to use a mini on the smaller ones and we'll kind of place these like so so there's the other one and there's the original which has got the bigger frame that we made an offset for in canvas so i hope you like the video please give it a thumbs up don't forget to subscribe and i'll see you in my next video thank you